Hi, and welcome. We're going to be talking today about the Epson Colorworks C4000 printer. And just so you know, this isn't going to be a, a really detailed technical video, but it will be a general overview video. And at the end, I'll give you some bonus tips that just might help you out. So the first thing you're going to need to realize is there are two versions. You're going to have to choose if it's going to be the gloss version or the matte version. Now, the differences have to do with the black ink that the printer uses. So with the gloss printer, you can, shoot, you can print on gloss and matte materials just fine. With the matte version is meant for customers and people who have uh, matte material only. You will not be switching to gloss ever and you have a very deep dark black design on your label. The blacks will be much truer with that ink, but then you will not be able to switch back to a gloss material ever. So general cases, we're saying uh, most people are going to be needing the gloss version. So let's talk about the display here for a little bit. So the printer has an display, onboard display that you can find all the settings you need to make. You can adjust them right here within the printer itself. You can see there's a lot of different options. You know, you've got media settings which allow you to change your type of media, your source, your layout, your print position. So all these kind of things you can do right within the printer itself. But a lot of it you could also do from the printer driver on the PC itself as well. So the two different ways you can get to many of the settings. All right, so we'll get to some more of those features later, but let's first go print some labels. So just to show you that there's no special software that's needed here with the uh, Colorworks printers, you just need to print directly from a PDF. So here it is, and you would print to it just like you would any other printer in your office. And I have the C4000 printer chosen. In this case, I've already created some here, and it's a 4x3 label. So it's now created a 4x3. These are the settings that I've saved, die cut label, matte. These are all the settings, and when I go to go ahead and print, you choose how many you want here, and it will print those prints. So this one is a a health and beauty product that I'm printing. And here will be an example of printing some coffee labels. Now I want to show you the different types of label materials that you could print to this. So I'm going to start off first with the core size that you need to know about. So there's a two inch core materials that you can see material with two inch core or three inch core. Now the three inch core material will fit through the machine in the back with an external holder as you can see in the, on the side over here. With this, with the two inch core, Generally, they'll fit inside the printer itself, which I'll demo that for you in a moment as well. So the core size is the first thing you need to know if it's a two inch core or a three inch core. Next thing we're gonna talk about are gloss and matte finishes. So if I took this label here, you can see that it is dull, it is a matte finish. This one you can see is a shiny gloss finish. Okay, so we have matte and gloss material. So the way the machine detects what label material it is, is you need to choose if it is a continuous material which the machine would cut to size. So you could create your label sizes and the machine will cut it, which is, makes it very versatile. You can choose many different sizes with that. If it's the labels with gaps, as you can see here, these are die cut labels. It will read through the gap for the, the printer. And then it also has a, a option to use a black line sensor. So these are labels that have a black line on them. These are circles that have the matrix still on, the waste matrix still on. So those are the different types of labels to help you understand what you're going to be ordering. Another thing to realize, uh, the different quality of the material. So we have paper labels that you can tear. And we have synthetic material. And when this synthetic material in this one, for instance, this is a two inch continuous synthetic, you cannot tear it. It will not tear. It's stronger and it's a little bit more durable. So those are kind of the variety of materials. Next we'll talk about ink. So the ink that Epson has, the Colorworks ink, is a very unique formulation. It is uh, highly durable. It's uh, water and chemical resistant. And depending on the type of material that you use, it can hold up to some really extreme chemicals. So 
it does matter on the type of material it does. So talk to your dealer about that and or having them do some test printing for you if you have to put things through rigorous testing. And also, if you have a question about the material, I'll do my best to answer if you want to leave a comment. Let's look at the cartridges here. Uh, you can see on the display, it tells you what your levels are right at the side. And my block is getting a little bit low. So the ink is here on the sides. C, M, Y, and K, black. You can see here how easily they pop in and out. They have, Epson has increased the, the size of these cartridges. So there is actually more, more ink in the, than previous versions. Uh, you can see there's the black ink here. And very easily to, to install. The other thing is the maintenance box is another consumable. So with this machine, it has a, a unique way of cleaning itself. And it, the way it does that, it does need a little bit of a, so it's a waste ink container. So there's a, always a slight little bit of ink that's cleaning the print heads and the system. And that just collects that ink. It does not have to be changed very often, but it is another consumable that you'll have to consider, the maintenance box. Okay, so now we're going to talk about installing labels in the machine itself. As I mentioned before, we have a two inch core labels and we have three inch core labels. Now technically the, the labels have to be four inch outside diameter to fit inside the printer. This is three inch core, clearly over four inches. It will not fit inside. That is when you need the external holder, but this style of label will fit inside. So basically what we have is a lever here. Lift the lever. There is another lever here that adjusts how wide your labels are. So you can move it to the widest position before you drop it in. Go ahead and drop your label in. You can see here how it moves over. And now I would increase, raise the lever, flip the lever back down, pull your, your labels out to the point of just holding it here, clicking it. We have a guide here that opens. And once you get it lined up, you would mark your guides like so, and lock it down. So this is how you would load them with the external holder. It's, it's straightforward as well. I just thought I'd give you a, a, a view of that. You can see how there's a back, kind of a gate in the back that opens up. Feed it through, close it down as you would regularly. And then this is a little quick view from the way it looks from behind. There's a little guide here that you could set to keep things straight. These are these are clamshell labels that were uh, I think they're three inch by ten. That's printing with continuous material for some artichokes. So while that is printing, I just want to quickly show you uh, some of the settings on how to do full bleed labels. So that's like edge to edge, a little bit over the edge. So what we do here is when we create the artwork. So if we go to the properties. You can see the page size is 3.54 by 4.54. The size that I want of the label will be 3.5 by 4.5, but what we've done is four thousandth of an inch over either side, then it will do a full bleed. You can see here is the image, and I choose actual size. paper source to PDF. This is again where you find the one that works the best. It's going to choose the PDF size which is a little bit bigger which gives you that full overbleed. You can select them all here or your, whatever your saved media templates are and in here I can now edit them. So if I wanted to change this to a continuous label say uh, I would change it here from die cut to continuous. You find the best setting for your what you're doing. Uh, you could choose no saving or Eliminate lower margins. So these are the settings you could choose. Your glossy film, your texture mat. This will help the look of the label. So you have to find the right setting there. This is again your quality settings. Cutting options. Cut after last label, after specified and such. Do not cut. So this is where you, you, you create your, your labels. So this label that's printing is reading the black mark on the back of it. It's got a black line and this is a label that are circle labels and we left the waste matrix on. Uh, makes it much easier to do full bleed label printing and makes a nice professional look. 
Some more features to mention. Print resolution will be up to 1200 DPI, which is quite high for this printer, and it is speed of up to four inches per second on the highest quality setting, which is good also for entry level printer. The printer will print to many operating systems, so it has a Windows driver, a Mac driver, and a Linux driver. The auto cutter on this printer was designed to be changed in the field. With one screwdriver only, if your cutter wears out, you can change that yourself, which makes the life of the printer last even longer. The Colorworks print technology is quite unique. Uh, they've designed the, this printer to not have a replaceable printhead. So one thing you do not have to worry about is a consumable printhead. It will last the life of the printer. There are many options for enterprise companies to integrate into large networks with the remote management options. Here is the USB cable connection as well as the Ethernet port if you wanted to use it on a network. And then here's the Wi-Fi dongle. That is optional. I'll talk more about that in a bit. Here are some additional options that you may want to consider. As I mentioned before, there's an external roll holder that you can purchase to mount the three inch wide core labels. This is going to give you a much more variety of materials with using a three inch core. So that's quite an inexpensive option that you, you would probably have a lot of use for. We have a external paper tray to hold on the printer, just clips onto the side here. This does not come with, but it is an option that you might want to consider. Epson also has a new feature, which is a wireless Wi-Fi dongle. This allows you to print wirelessly from a cell phone or a tablet from either Apple or Android. And that's a new feature which could be really handy for some people. So another feature, which is an external rewinder. I don't have one here, but if there's an external rewinder needed for if you want to print from roll to roll label printing, there's a rewinder option available as well. So for the bonus tip, there's an option in the driver here. It also says to save ink toner. I use this often when I'm just setting up, when you're just practicing, you're, you're, when you have a lot of setup to do. And you'll be saving ink when you do that. And then when you're ready to run the full job, you uncheck it. And then you're good to go. So that's a good saving ink option. Something to seriously consider are the extended warranty plans. With Epson, they have a spare in the air program. Uh, which is basically, we call it a cheap insurance to keep your business operating and running properly. So what happens is if you have a problem that cannot be solved remotely by the technical support team, uh, it looks like the printer has to go in for service or a repair, then what they do is send you one first as soon as possible, and then you get that one running, you keep your business running, and then you can ship the other one back to have the warranty uh, repairs done. So the spare in the air is something you should really consider if it's important to keep your business running. And for the final tip, I just want to reiterate once again uh, the value of an external roll holder. This thing will, will help you with so many more variety of labels to use. Uh, you'll be able to put a larger rolls in. They'll last longer. You won't have to change as often. The smaller rolls are often very tightly wound as well, so the, the labels will want to curl. We have price links in the description below to check out the products. As you can tell, that many markets can benefit from the C4000 printer. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, a comment, hit the alarm bell for no more notifications if you like these videos.